been a really good schedule from for us from this perspective just being a new staff like we knew we were going to get better as the year went on you know we knew our best version of ourselves first time going through it first time in the offense and defensive and special team schemes um, we knew we would be better later in the year than early and it's just it's been nice to kind of see the schedule step ladder a little bit for us from a d degree of difficulty standpoint and so hopefully as the schedule you know difficulty increases so too does our play and uh, and we're ready for it Second down and 11. Brick Hanner to throw. Fires to the right. It's caught by Warren at the 21. Little stutter step. That's not working. Oh, he's drilled. Johnson coming from behind. He thought he was doing a two-step with Stinson, and Johnson said, hello. Yeah, you don't want to dance too long with this Duke defense on the field. Nowadays, with the way the spread is and the way offenses try to spread you sideline to sideline, it's really important that you have enough guys out there that can match up and cover. And so, you know, we kind of got to this 5DB system uh, at Texas A&M, and, you know, we still still run a little bit of the traditional 4-2-5 with a true star at times. But for the most part, it's really limited to now 5DB look. We just kind of really went into to winter workouts and started kind of paying attention to them a little bit. We got a chance to do some technique work with them and kind of seeing where they were. And uh, then as we got into spring ball, we really kind of started to see who had what skill sets. And that kind of moved us into the summer with kind of an idea of where we wanted to go. And then obviously we were able to add two transfers to the group and, and both Darius and Speedy have played a big role in our success too. And so that just kind of balanced it out and gave us a little bit more depth. And uh, that's kind of how it all came together. Secure it with the right hand. Simultaneous. Set, go. Parity. As your head close, close your hand, chop when you do it, right? Otherwise, you're just slapping it. Here we go. Set, go. Hammer. Big hammer. Hey. That's what I'm saying. If you guys get yourself a little bit further away. So Lyle Hemphill coaches our safeties. Lyle started working with me when I was at Hofstra. Um, so I've known Lyle since I think I was 27 years old. Um, so long relationship, long history with him. And uh, you know, he's been a lot of different places. As it brings a tremendous background to what we're doing. And then Ishmael Aristide coaches our corners. And, and Ish joined me at Texas A&M. That was the first time I got a chance to work with him. I was just super impressed with him. He's got a tremendous presence about him. Knows the fundamentals of the game really well. Does a great job coaching our corners from a technique standpoint. Uh, you know, and then conceptually really has a great knowledge of what you want to do in the back end to stop people. And so I think we've got two tremendous secondary coaches. Hey, you got to be big over here in the boundary. Perfect. Details. 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 Go. Good. They square. Good. Better be ready to chop this thing down. What you got, big dog? Hey, I'm here. I press it. I'm square inside out going lateral. You ready to work? Uh, there we go. Now we're going to do crossover back against our bodies, right? Flip. Break. Ball. Good. Eyes down, chin down, shoulders over toes. So I'm sliding. I'm in a slide mentality. I'm in a shade mentality, shoulders over toes. Punch, punch. Eyes down. Break. Eyes drive back down, three steps through the man. Ball. Yeah, he's a great coach, man. You know, he's in, he'll get on, you know. So that's like really what I needed, you know. He's a great, great guy off the field. You know, he always try to better us, better us as men off the field as well, not only just on the field. So that's a plus, man, to have somebody in my room like that and to learn from. Pedal. Go on, flip. Go on, go on 60, 40. Go, 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 Tony. Go attack it. Attack it. Good. Flip, drip. Now get into him. Go, go, go. Break. Lock him. Scoops, scoops. Stick it. Good. Good. Flat. Stay eyes. Eyes. Don't lose your eyes. Hey, that's how you flatten him out. When he make that move, you press him down, flatten him out. Hey, you're in the red zone. You got to get physical. It's big boy ball. The biggest thing you're looking for in a corner is a guy who's got tremendous hips. Uh, obviously, he's got to have long speed and the ability to run and close. But really, the short area quickness and acceleration is critical. You know, and I think you're looking for a guy who has some ability to track and play the football. Because um, I think that's a little bit of a lost art nowadays for DBs, is guys who can really attack the football in the air. Uh, and then at safety, you know, it's really a combination. You need a guy who can really see the game well because uh, it's a three-way traffic stop he's playing in in the middle of the field and so he's got to be able to see the game well understand how football works and then you know be a guy who's physical enough to come up
help and show up in the run game, but be athletic enough that he can get back and help us in the pass game. And so uh, he's got to be multi multi-dimensional. And you know, when we evaluate kids, sometimes you know we always evaluate them into whatever role we think they can fit. And you know, a lot of times it's one or the other. But then sometimes you see a kid and says, hey, you know, I think this kid could help us maybe at both spots. And so I think when you evaluate kids, really you kind of get a pulse for how they're going to fit into your scheme and your system. Not vital, but this would be important. Northwestern can get a first down on fourth. It is knocked away. The 12th pass broken up. Brandon Johnson knocks it away and gives the football back to Mike Elko's bunch. A tough ask for a safety to cover a guy in man-to-man -man all the way across the field. But number 30 in white, Brandon Johnson, does a great job of breaking this ball up right on time. PBU's galore for this Duke Blue Devil defense. It's a unique balance we have on defense because I think everybody in the building, uh, except Coach Simpson, worked for me at some point uh, in, in my career as a defensive coordinator. And then Coach Simpson, I actually recruited and signed his son uh, to Wake Forest. And so the, you know, the history that I have and the relationships that I have with our defensive staff go back a long ways. Go. Get, go. Probably the worst job on the staff is to be the safeties coach because uh, Lyle's got to deal with me all the time. But no, it's it's obviously it's my passion. You know, I spent so many years coaching the safeties and um, kind of seeing defense through the eyes of the safeties. And so, um, you know, a lot of memories being in those safety meetings and all that stuff. And I haven't gotten into one of the meetings. I let Lyle run the meetings, but every once in a while I'll kind of jump in on the field and kind of add my two cents just to keep myself sane. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade and our commitment to fuel tomorrow. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. With Zero Sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. It first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And the handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by like a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to a hundred. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires. You said no blitz. You said no blitz. In the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. It's Ford Truck Month. America, you know what to do. Now's the time to get after the best deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks. 45 years straight. Also great offers on Ford Ranger and Ford Maverick. Ford Truck Month is here, so let's get after it. Place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready Big Bow Box. I need to try it first. Yeah. playing for Iowa State, you know, like, I grew as a man at Iowa State, you know, I did all the great things, you know, when the program went from down to high, you know, so I, I, it was a blessing to be at Iowa State. That was a great process for me. All my coaches got fired at Western Illinois, so I entered the, entered the portal, and when I entered the portal, I got contacted by Duke and Coach Elko and Coach, Coach Smith and Coach Hemphill. Me hitting the transfer portal was really a different aspect. I didn't hit it off of disciplinary reasons. It was more of like I was just in the program for a long time, just wanted a new change of scenery, you know. So after talking to Coach Elko, you know, Coach Ish, you know, he's locked in and 
just went over some things with the defense and stuff like that, and I felt like that was this was my fit, like Duke was my fit. Knowing that Coach Elko was a safety coach, Coach Hemphill was a safety coach, and they've coached great safeties and they've developed great players, I just wanted to be pushed. I wanted to be the best safety that I could be, and I feel like they could put me in the best position to get to the next level and be the best safety I could be right now. So that's, that's ultimately why I chose Duke. Both of them just kind of came to our attention through the transfer portal. Uh, we evaluated them. We thought both of them were really talented players. Uh, we kind of sought after and targeted both of them, and uh, they were our first choice. And thankfully, we got them both. And you know, really thought watching them on tape, they were really good players. As we got to know them, we thought they were good kids as well. But when we got them here, I mean, they're both tremendous kids. I mean, they're A plus kids representing our program. They're great character kids in the locker room, and they've done everything we've asked, and they've been really good players for us. Yeah, it was a big opportunity, you know, like, it's a new staff, new coaching staff, they're trying to change the whole program, you know, like, I, I was able to be in that type of situation before at Iowa State, so it was just like, actually coming and doing it again, and then just their whole mindset of things and how they, they operate for real. We needed guys with experience. You know, one of the things obviously that was lacking in our secondary when we got here was just guys who had game experience. You know, we've got some talented players for sure and guys who've really played big roles for us this season, but we didn't have those guys who had really been through a 12 game season as a starter. And so to add two guys who had been starters at their previous institutions just gave us a little bit of stability back there, which was really needed. Brick handler from the shotgun, pistol set. Trying to hand it off, the running back went to the right, he reached to the left, and now he's going down back at the 40. Darius Joyner brought him down. Here's Porter, looking for the edge. Nope, not gonna find it. Wonderful tackle again by Darius Joyner. We've called his name a whole bunch this afternoon. Me personally, I just try to, just try to be physical. I just try to be witty, and just knowing that the quarterbacks are reading me a lot of times. Quarterbacks are taught to read like boundary safety to know what type of rotation you're in. So like, I like to play a lot of mind games with our quarterbacks here and they, I can just tell they're looking at me and I just do something that just try to throw them off. I'm just trying to bring like wits, physicality, and my own swagger to the, to the field. Corner is a different position, man. You gotta have a mentality. You gotta have a strong mentality, you know, cause like it's gonna be highs, it's gonna be lows. And your lows, everybody sees it. Your highs, they see it, but it, if you show a low, then it's like that never happens. So. My mentality be, man, just lock in, man. You know, you out there on the island by yourself, so just lock in. You gotta approach it like that. And it's a risk, but it's a risk that you love, you know what I mean? It's the joy of the ball. Slap, slap, flip, good. Back down, good, Speedy, drop, drop. Now, ball, good job, that's the drill. Speedy's my roommate, actually, so we see each other every day, and we talk about what we have to do to improve every day. Like, me and Speedy have a great relationship. You know, like, me and that, both of us played a lot of football. You know, we can lock in with a lot of things. Like, we familiar. Different like conferences, but it's still football, you know what I mean? So it's just a plus to have both of us on the same team so we can lead off to the younger guys. Um, I feel like I've been doing decent. I have a lot of room for improvement, but at this point, I just feel like just doing everything the coaches say, just try to be a better teammate, better, better, better leader, better all of that. I feel like the football is going to take care of itself. I don't really too much worry about that. I put in the time, the, the sweat equity, the blood, and I just feel like just now just trying to be a better mentor to the younger kids and that's really where I'm at now. It's coming together pretty good, man. You know, like I like the results showing. You know, we still got room to get better, of course, but like everything's looking so good for us right now, even with young guys and older guys, like it's just rubbing off each other. Everybody learning and we taking that next step. To me it's still early because it's still early in the season, but like I've been here a while now. You know, I like my experiences so far, like everything's been great, everybody's been great, you know, it's a great atmosphere for me. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. It's Ford Truck Month. America, you know what to do. 
Now's the time to get after the best deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks, 45 years straight. Also, great offers on Ford Ranger and Ford Maverick. Ford Truck Month is here, so let's get after it. Place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Duke Football 360 with Dave Harding. Presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. Coming into the season, the Blue Devil defense only returned one starter in the secondary. That was safety Jalen Stinson. After the Northwestern game, Stinson was named ACC Defensive Back of the Week, and he's continued to have a big impact in the defense. Today, I want to take a deeper dive into some of the ways he is making a big difference in the defensive backfield. Here he is against Northwestern. Where's the number two jersey lined up at the bottom right of the screen? As the play unfolds, it's a direct snap to the running back who's running off the left side of the offense. And the running back gets actually a good bounce outside. Shaka Hayward, the linebacker, kind of gets caught up with a blocker along the line of scrimmage there and the tight end that's rolling around. Stinson becomes really the last line of defense at that safety position. Look at the pursuit and his closing speed in the open field to get to the corner and then the physicality battling with a physical back to bring him down, fighting through stiff arms and strings the play out and brings the ball carrier down in very physical fashion. Here he is a little later in the game, right here lined up kind of over the tight end. This is a third down and one situation. The safety understands short yardage likely going to be a run. You got to get downhill fast and fill a hole. And look at him there. That's a safety that's five foot eight coming in and laying the boom on a running back. Getting his shoulder pads down and meeting the running back in the hole, physically forcing a fourth down opportunity. This is the play that got a ton of attention. Watch the way that he never gives up on a play. Last play of the game for Northwestern on offense. They're running in. Looks like they're going to score to potentially tie the game late. And look at Stinson from his safety position right here. Come in and talk about physicality. Talk about effort. Not giving up on the play. Right along the goal line. Puts his shoulder on the football directly and pops it out at the very last second saving the Blue Devils a very difficult situation where Northwestern could have gone and tied it. Trying to get a road win, Stinson's physicality, his effort makes a difference. This is against North Carolina a &T, third game of the season. Watch Stinson from his safety position right here. He's on a blitz, running up the B gap. Looks like it's going to be a sack. A lot of players would maybe knock their fist into the dirt saying, man, I could have had him, quarterback got away. Watch the way that he crawls up off the ground after missing the initial tackle, does not stop, keeps fighting, and works his way back to the quarterback and ends up bringing him down just a little bit later. Great, consistent pursuit of the ball carrier at all times. That's what you want to see out of a safety. It just so happens, I think, it's infectious. It starts to permeate through the rest of the defense, that attitude, the need for going and making a big hit, for making a play. Here he is lined up here. Brandon Johnson is going to come on a blitz. Stinson's got to fill some of the space that's left in Brandon Johnson's void. And look at the closing speed again. I mean, he's not just a physical player. He's very fast. We see his that in the return game. He's done a great job as a returner for the Blue Devils. But look at him closing ground, getting outside, and now he understands as a safety the rest of your defense is inside. Go ahead and keep contained. Force the ball carrier, in this case it's a receiver, back to the teeth of the defense. He does so. But when I talk about his effort being infectious, here's Brandon Johnson on the blitz. 
doesn't get home, quarterback gets the ball out, look at the redirect all the way back up the field, and he actually ends up being the one that makes the tackle on this play. I love turning on the tape and watching Jalen Stinson set the tone, helping to show the rest of his teammates how it's supposed to be done. Great effort and great physicality. It's showtime, it's your time. It's game time, it's go time. You got one shot at a gold mine. really exciting when you're the head coach and you're preaching physicality and the team has to throw the ball 60 times on you because um, that gives you the opportunities to play it in the air so it started there there was some satisfaction with just the fact that the ball had to be in the air that many times with where we've been as a run defense um, but then to see our kids compete for the football and, and really make a lot of plays and you know obviously Brandon had the huge interception uh, Josh Pickett had a bunch of breakups Speedy had a bunch of breakups Darius Joyner was all over the field and then Jalen Stinson made a ton of plays and obviously made the big one to win the game for us. Valencia ready, here's the snap. The gift's a hole, they run straight ahead and he's into the end zone for the touchdown, the ball came out! And Johnson's got it! He fumbled it! And the Blue Devils have it! 12 seconds to go, the Blue Devils sideline explodes! It took me a minute to realize what was going on. Like, I saw people running around, I was, they was like, we won. I was like, huh? I was like, we won. I, Cause I didn't realize the ball had came out because I had made like a hard hit or whatever. So yeah, it, it just, I don't know, I guess it shocked me, you feel me? <laughs> when I hit him, I'm not gonna lie, my mind went a little blank. I, 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 I actually didn't know what was going on. <laughs> so, I actually didn't know until I, you know, I got, I got up. It ended up coming down to the last play, you know, we gave it our all, you feel me? We, we worked all winter, summer, you know, just for those times, like with, with feeling and all that, just all conditioning, I felt like we were the stronger team and it ended up helping us pull through. Jalen and I had a, a play like that in fall camp. But we talked about it, like we didn't both kind of sell out because it was practice and we were like, yeah, we're not trying to hurt each other right here. But when it opened up, it was kind of the same play that we had in fall camp and we just said, we're just going to sell out and die about it at this point. Like, it's the last play. Whatever happens, happens. And that's what we did. Just two Alabama boys just coming together. <laughs> Jalen Stinson jumped out to us really quick. Uh, he's extremely athletic. He's got tremendous closing speed. Uh, he's not afraid of anything. He'll tackle anybody. And uh, you know, and so we really kind of, he was the kid that's really bounced around a little bit through spring and summer, trying to find the right home for him. And ultimately we kind of settled with him at our safety position. So our secondary, we, we got a big, big emphasis on like, you know, just making tackles, like, because we're the last level of, you feel me, uh, defense. So, I mean, we spent a lot of time on tackling. I feel like we did a great job of tackling. He's just a different player, man. You know, you don't have those guys there everywhere, you know. So, he's just guys who love ball, man. He sh it shows. So, he's just a ball player, man. That's what I say about Stinson. just a ball player. And from the goal line, it'll be Stinson on the right side of the field. Straight up the hashes, 25-30. Stinson's loose. Down the right sideline. Across midfield, only one man can get him. And they force him out at the 32-yard line. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And the handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires. At Therabody, we believe that everybody deserves a chance to keep going, keep dancing, keep celebrating, and reuniting. It's never too late.
Because everybody is a Therabody. There's a reason every Odyssey is named after the Odyssey. Because the world's most famous story isn't about staying put. It's about being there. So for those who want a story to tell, we have a world full of places to start. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Three wide outs to the left as they work off the right hash. Going to throw again, this time down the right sideline. Got his man again. It's stride Hagans. Touchdown! What a strike! 39 yards and it's 23 to nothing. Leonard ready. Brings Calhoun in motion over to the right now. Inside handoff for Waters. He'll get a couple more. Maybe he'll have a touchdown. Stretches. He's in. Wow, what a physical presence. Jordan Waters punches it in. Jacob Monk loves it. The big guys carry him in and it's 20 to nothing. Off their own 41. Here's the snap. Play fake. Wants to throw. Hit from behind and fumbled it. It's scooped up. Headed the other way. It's Dwayne Carter for the touchdown. A scoop and score. And it's 20 to nothing. I think obviously starting fast is huge. And from a momentum standpoint, that's something we preach. Um, but you can preach a lot of things and not get them. So a credit to our kids. I mean, we've come out of the locker room in a really good mindset for three straight weeks. I think we've started really well on both sides of the ball, and we've really gotten ourselves in a really advantageous position to start football games, and uh, that's something that's critical. And I think that plays a role, too. And, you know, the, the turnover margin is something a lot of people – talk about, but it also is a lot easier to, to win turnover margin when you're not chasing games, you know, and so when you start fast and you kind of have control of the game, it allows you to be a little bit safer with the football. Uh, it forces the other team to take a few more chances and make the ball a little bit looser, and so I think it also plays a role in the turnover battle. So first and 10, first and 15 off the 38, Leonard to throw, no problem, down the middle, down Molin, he'll get 15, he'll get it all, touchdown! in 15 seconds into the game the Blue Devils are dancing in the end zone it's a huge focal point of conversation it's more from this perspective you know it's it's a mentality to come on a football field and play at our speed and when we talk about it in practice we talk about it in fall camp that when we step on the football field and we represent Duke there's a certain way that we want to play and, and our our challenge to our kids is is we want to play our pace and our speed and we want people to have to match us we don't want to step on a football field and ever try to figure out what level we need to play at and so we try to come out and set the bar really high and try to see if teams can match it.